In a historic moment, Starship Flight 5 concluded perfectly with a successful mid-air catch of Super Heavy B-12 in the soft landing of Starship 30 in the Indian Ocean. However, SpaceX is not a company that stops at success. Now the question is no longer can it be done, but rather how can they go even further? Bringing us to the changes and upgrades planned for SpaceX's next flight, Starship Flight 6. Let's find out more in today's episode of Alpha Tech. Not resting on their laurels, and right after completing Starship's fifth flight, SpaceX quickly brought the successfully caught booster back to the production site, likely to study and extract valuable lessons. This also signifies their preparations to upgrade all components for Starship Flight 6. For the next Starship flight, SpaceX and Elon have confirmed that the main players will be Ship 31 and Booster 13. In terms of booster upgrades, there are certainly some, but I bet it won't be drastic since SpaceX managed to catch the rocket intact on their first try without destroying it or the catching tower. So, we should focus more on Starship upgrades for the sixth flight. Regardless of the scenario, SpaceX may attempt to land Starship on the ground in the next launch or catch it in the air just like they did with B-12. Like Ship 30, Ship 31's been completed, but it now needs upgrades to minimize the risk of an explosion during Starship reentry. Right now, Ship 31 is beginning its transformation. The heat shields on Ship 31 are being removed by teams, and a new layer of insulation is being installed underneath. We'll have to wait until the work's finished to fully understand these changes, but much of the upgrade will likely build on what SpaceX did with Ship 30. Over the next couple weeks, SpaceX's changes SpaceX is making to Ship 31 will probably become a lot clearer. Because Ship 31 is a V1 prototype of Starship, SpaceX's upgrades are limited to what's possible at this stage. However, with the future Starship prototypes that SpaceX is building, Starship V2, the upgrades will get expanded, including improvements to the flaps. The new front flaps on V2 are designed differently from what they used to be. They're more streamlined and angled, no longer having a bottom edge parallel to the ground when deployed. This new shape likely improves aerodynamics during re-entry and controlled descent. Right now, this change has been discussed for three years, with Elon mentioning the redesign of the forward flaps back in 2021. Forward flaps will change a lot in the upcoming versions of Starship, smaller and more leeward, he said. A major change is the thickness of these new flaps, which are reportedly about half as thick as the current ones. This significant reduction in thickness will lead to a substantial decrease in mass crucial for spacecraft design. Lighter flaps mean less weight, potentially allowing for more load-carrying capacity. The flaps will also be significantly smaller, reducing the aerodynamic load affecting navigation and the critical flip maneuver during landing. This design minimizes the risk of damage during flight and simplifies manufacturing, thereby increasing operational flexibility. Accompanying these are new aerodynamic body fairings that narrow the gap between the flaps and the nose cone. This change could further improve the spacecraft's aerodynamic properties by reducing drag and turbulence in this area. Furthermore, the distribution of heat shield tiles has changed, giving more protection for the leeward nose and less for the leeward side of the flaps. This change likely reflects SpaceX's ongoing optimization process based on data from previous flights. SpaceX's addition of more thermal protection tiles to the leeward, that's the downwind side of the nose, suggests that they've identified this area as experiencing higher heat loads than previously anticipated. This could be due to complex airflow patterns during reentry, possibly causing unexpected hotspots. Therefore, the increase in thermal protection tiles aims to better protect this critical area from the intense heat of atmospheric reentry. Additionally, the decision to reduce tile coverage in the areas leeward of the flaps is equally significant, proving that SpaceX has managed the redistribution of the tiles based on actual heat exposure data. By doing so, SpaceX can optimize the weight of the spacecraft and improve payload capacity or even fuel efficiency. Honestly, these new upgraded designs might not fully convey the tremendous development of Starship, but Elon has directly confirmed this by saying this is an important design improvement. And I'm sure that this version of the spacecraft can completely change how SpaceX succeeds in Starship's reentry process and potentially creating new definitions of space travel. And it's not just the flaps that are getting a facelift. SpaceX is also reinforcing critical areas like the joints and heat shield. These upgrades are essential to protect the vehicle during re-entry and ensure its longevity. The joints between the flaps and the ship have been optimized, becoming smaller while still effective at reducing impact forces. Meanwhile, the upgraded heat shield has demonstrated its protective capabilities in recent tests, though further improvements are expected to ensure the spacecraft can withstand the harsh conditions of space and re-entry consistently. If SpaceX can ensure the reliability of these systems, the likelihood of successfully catching the spacecraft after flight increases 
this significantly. Achieving full reusability for Starship is a key milestone for SpaceX, and these upgrades represent the next step towards that goal. But SpaceX doesn't plan to stop with just these upgrades. The company has even bigger plans for the future, and I mean that literally. The concept of Starship 2.0 is resurfaced, with Elon hinting at a new, massive version of the rocket. With double the diameter of the current model, this gigantic spacecraft could revolutionize space travel as we know it. In a recent conversation on X, Elon confirmed that the idea of an even larger Starship, first mentioned in 2019, is still very much on the table. Starship 2.0 would be enormous, with an 18-meter diameter, double the current Starship's 9 meter width, and it's almost unimaginable to grasp the scale of such a large rocket. This next-generation system would even dwarf NASA's Sea Dragon, one of the biggest rocket concepts ever proposed. The advantages of Starship 2.0 would be enormous, particularly in terms of payload capacity and efficiency for Mars missions. Elon's repeatedly emphasized that sending big quantities of cargo to Mars will require thousands of flights in the coming decade. Starship 2.0 could significantly reduce that number, allowing fewer trips with bigger payloads. But what would it take to build such a behemoth? Constructing a rocket of this size requires serious upgrades, especially when we're talking engine power. And as SpaceX continues refining their Raptor engines, the next gen of Starship could push the boundaries of what's possible in space exploration. But what would it take to bring Starship 2.0 to life? While the current Raptor 2 engines are powering the V1 prototypes, future versions are expected to use Raptor 3s, which give even more power. A rocket the size of Starship 2.0 would need much stronger engines. Elon has mentioned that future engine upgrades could increase thrust to 330 tons an engine, and with 33 engines, your total thrust is more than 10,000 tons. If SpaceX decides to add even more engines, the thrust could reach unprecedented levels, giving Starship 2.0 the power necessary for interplanetary journeys. The vacuum version of Starship, designed for space ops, will likely also see upgrades, ensuring that the vehicle can handle long-duration missions. The real question is, will this power be enough for the next-generation Starship? Tough to say for sure. Maybe only time will tell. But SpaceX's pace of development is moving so fast that it's visible to the naked eye. Clearly, every upgrade is carefully researched to ensure feasibility, not just wild ideas. Right now, SpaceX is developing the second-generation Starship with even greater advantages. With only two pairs of E-1 ships, S-31B-13 and S-32B-14 remaining, SpaceX is preparing the ultimate test, catching Starship. Elon has hinted that this could happen as early as next year, which would mark a turning point in the company's journey towards full reusability. So, what can we expect from these crucial upcoming tests? Many are wondering why SpaceX continues to pursue catch attempts with V1 prototypes, which don't include the new upgrades that are planned for V2. The answer lies in the need to validate key systems like the heat shield before moving to the next development phase. Even if the current designs don't succeed in every test, they'll still provide invaluable data that helps SpaceX fine-tune the V2 models and move closer to full reusability. Looking beyond current testing, the Starship's program's ultimate goals are remarkably ambitious. Plans include supporting NASA's Artemis lunar program, establishing regular cargo missions to Mars, and eventually enabling human settlement of the Red Planet. The spacecraft's massive payload capacity and planned refueling capabilities could revolutionize deep space exploration. The economic implications of successful Starship development could be transformative for the space industry. Full reusability combined with rapid turnaround times could dramatically reduce launch costs, and this cost reduction could unlock new commercial opportunities up there in space, from tourism to manufacturing, while making going to other planets more possible. The next big step could come right after Flight 6 or 7. While these flights are pretty risky, successful tests are going to pave the way for even more ambitious goals, including in-space refueling, missions to the moon, and ultimately, getting to Mars. That's it for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching, and hope to see you back here next time. Stay safe, take care, and God bless. Bye.